a lot of the messaging that we're given as women about our reproductive health is lacking in um, enough science and enough practical wisdom that we feel like we should also avoid it. And then it ends up causing us to make choices in our own health care of doing nothing. So I think it's really important for us to understand how our bodies work, um, to, to get really practical, useful information about what we can do to um, interact with our endocrine system to optimize its performance, um, and to understand how to troubleshoot things along the way because it is not complicated, it is not mysterious, and, it's, and your body is so responsive to the right inputs, and it's just amazing. I went on Dr. Oz and uh, did a demonstration that I had been doing for years by using fruit juice to simulate the different colors of menstrual blood um, on little white dishes to show women how they can use their monthly bleed as a blood test, right? You can do this, you use it as a blood test, it's blood, it, the specific color of it can actually tell you very clearly the ratio between your estrogen and progesterone. And you would wanna know that because it would tell you why you're having PMS, why you're maybe not um, being successful with your fertility journey, why you're having any sort of symptom that you're having. And you can watch that change, the color and texture of your bleed month over month. It's the best, easiest, most user-friendly self-assessment that you can do is really looking before you flush at what's going coming out of you from a menstrual point of view. So um, this is so important that we actually built a free tool. We just think every woman should have access to this. So it's the period type quiz. You can just go to the flowliving.com homepage and answer seven questions about the color of your period and the texture and the things that we need to know. And it will tell you what's wrong with your hormones which is so empowering because then you'll know what to do and it also tells you what to do, what foods to change and how to get you in action right away. Because what's really exciting is once you start to play with your food a little bit and then you see what's happening next cycle, you start to notice, oh, some of my symptoms are diminishing and look, I'm seeing changes in what I'm seeing in terms of color of the bleed and that's just so, so important. Um, there are only is it four different things that it could be color-wise, right? So you can have sort of what I call the brown type, the pink type, the red type, the blue type, or the MIA type, or so that, that doesn't have a color, it's just not there. But those four colors um, really determine whether or not you have not enough progesterone, too much estrogen, not enough estrogen, or you have that perfect balance between the two. And that's really valuable information that every woman should know every month because it's not static, right? You could have things happen over the course of a year holidays, stressful situations at work, family you know, stressors, um, changes in your diet, changes in your lifestyle, major episodes of traveling, all illnesses, all sorts of things um, because of the link between the immune system and the endocrine system um, can impact what shows up for you monthly. And the best way for you to gauge how well your body is responding to all of these different you know, situations that arise that are external to your endocrine function and how it's impacting them, that's really where you can see it show up and it's such a useful tool because then you can start to troubleshoot. Because then a lot of women then ask me the question, well, how do you know what to do? Um, it's so easy, what, you know, that's what we developed the, the app for so that you can like learn why you're having a symptom and then learn which foods to eat to make it better and make it go away within a month or two. Uh, and that's the thing I, I just love like letting every woman know that if you make food changes that are appropriate for your particular um, set of hormonal in issues, you can bring them to resolution within three months, typically. You can have a really wonky period today and three periods from now have it be what it should be. That's not a very long time. That's not a lot of commitment. Think about things you commit to for far longer and you don't get results. This is something that has major, major responsive um, action in the body and, and it's encouraging. The more you do, the more you see your body performing better, the more you're gonna take care of your hormones and that of course is a perfect biofeedback loop that we want to encourage.